Eric asked this question about the second law of thermodynamics. It is the law of entropy, that everything in the universe goes from complexity to disintegration. Your bedroom is a classic example of that. Order to disorder. And here's his question. We know this doesn't apply to God because he never changes. And we know it doesn't apply to heaven because moth and rust do not destroy in heaven. So did this second law of thermodynamics begin to take effect before the fall or after the fall? Here's my best answer. I wasn't there. I don't know. However, I do have a conversation I want to share with you with a friend of mine. Uh, I call him Skipper. His, his official name is Dr. Charles Mobs. He's one of the world's leading experts in gerontology or why we age. And every few years, he'll call me for a theological question. I'll call him for a scientific question. I called him one year and said, okay, so you're working on this problem of aging. And he had told me years before that he thinks there's a clock in our cell, which every time it divides, it ticks down one. And when it gets to zero ticks, that's when our cells don't reproduce and we die. He's actually found that clock since we last talked. But I asked him, if, if there's a clock, could there be a chemical that stops the clock? He said, well, that's an interesting question. And the answer is theoretically, yes, because tumors that are in the body uh, will die with the body. But tumors that are taken out of the body and fed in a Petri dish, they can live indefinitely. And he said, why do you ask? I said, well, when you read Genesis 2, you've got the, obviously the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, and Adam and Eve partook of it. They were kicked out of the garden and forbidden to touch the tree of life, which shows up again, of all places, in the very last chapter of the Bible, Revelation. So you have the tree of life in Garden of Eden. You have the tree of life in the New Jerusalem. Could there be a chemical compound in the tree of life that stops the aging process. And here's what he said. We actually know, we're not guessing, we know that that is possible because there's research on gerontology. Now, we don't have the chemical. We haven't stopped aging. But he said, theoretically, it is possible. And so, Eric, theologically, it is possible that us being pulled out of the garden not only started the aging process for us, but the second law of thermodynamics affected the whole world. As Roman 8 says, the Apostle Paul, that the entire world is groaning under the sinfulness of humanity until the redemption of the sons of God. So that's the long answer. My short answer is, I think it did start with the fall.